Hello, everybody. Welcome to Let's Try. My name is Retromation. This is Wild Frost, a roguelike deck builder developed by Deadpan Games and Cazador and published by Chucklefish, which I'm very excited to be checking out the demo for here today. So in we go. Choose your leader. Gain two shell on a kill. Barrage hits all targets in the row. I mean, that seems fun. Sure. Or just regular. I mean, uh, they do more damage. I don't know exactly what that's all going to mean right now. Oh, my God. We can go for... Uh, you get to rename your card. That's fun. Okay. All right. To start each battle, drag your leader from your hand onto the battlefield. Foxy is, is one of your companion cards. Get him into the battlefield, too. Okay. Doesn't matter where we put him. He's got four health. Waddle Goons Penguin. Use your Scrappy Sword to take out that Penguin. So it does two here. Goodbye. Punk. Card counters reduced by one each turn. When they reach zero, the card will attack. One second. Sorry. Okay. Uh, when they reach zero, they will attack. Gotcha. Gotcha, 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 gotcha. So are we supposed to uh, just let that happen or apply snow? Freezes, counter, and reactions. Ooh. So that means their counter won't go down for two turns. Enemies will always attack first. Okay. I mean, not if I can murder them in time. So I'm assuming, like, if I play a card that is, like, one action. Yeah. I mean, but they're still frozen. So that'd be everything. Yes, so everything then ticks down by one. And they are going to go first, so they will smack me. They're going to do one damage three times? or what? Yeah, one damage three times. So they're not even going to kill Foxy. Interesting. Okay. It's almost auto-battlery in, in that sense. Very interesting. Okay. You're almost out of cards. Gain a new hand by hitting the redraw bell. I'm assuming that takes... Oh, it's a free action. Okay. You must protect your leader, so... Okay, because if they die, it is game over. Gotcha. So, you got two counter, two counter, three counter. That is a very interesting way of doing it. I like that this game fundamentally uproots the mana system and does it based off of that timing system instead. That is really interesting. Okay. So, we could... Hmm... We're theoretically going to get hit by something. Increase your health by four. Could I... Okay, so you're going to do two damage. You're going to do one damage. When hit, gain damage. Let's do this for now. The wave deployer shows the next uh, the number of turns until the next wave of enemies. Gotcha. All right, so we are going to be taking the two, the three here. We're going to get the snow, so Foxy's not really going to be able to do too much here. Unless I snow you. Which I suppose I could do. Alright, so three turns. You got one turn of snow, which is going to be nice here. We're about to attack for three damage, so the sword should get us out of here. Before they attack us with increased damage. Oh, one moment. Sorry. Just, it's so, you know, it's difficult to balance freaking audio sometimes. But thank God it's got, like, the option to do so. So you are going to attack now, but not if I stun you there. So now we will attack in the back line. Okay, good. You need to defeat the Snow Knight to win the battle. Whenever anything is snowballed, gain a damage. Well, damaged... While damaged, attack is increased by two. So I I assume we theoretically will attack the front line every single time, right? So in a couple turns, in two turns, we're both going to attack. You're going to do one damage. I guess we'll we're now just go for this. One damage, one damage is going to be a nice clean trade there. We don't really want to start damaging you, do we, I guess? 
Okay. So far, so far. We could just, like, kind of, uh... Go cleanly at it here for a bit. But we don't have the cards in our hand to get the kill. So we could, uh, we could do the Scrapper Sword for now. We could heal up. Healing up would mean we go up to... We would definitely live. We would definitely live. And then we don't enrage Grouchy. I think we'll hit it with this, because it seems like we probably shouldn't... Shouldn't be using the Snowball right now. It's not that we can't. Especially after that other guy, after the Snow Knight dies. I am curious if this is going to overflow. Theoretically, it'll go front line, back line. So, like, one damage, one damage, one damage. We could have lethal based off of this, depending on how it functions. That's one. We don't even have to kill... Okay, we don't even have to kill Grouchy, but we can. This is... This is a fresh take. <laughs> like, it's actually a fresh take on the roguelike deck builder genre. I, I'm happy to see it. Huh. Break the ice. Ah, we got some cards here. You can right-click on any card to inspect it. Big Berry and Wallop. On kill, restore two health to self and and allies in the row. Okay. Eight additional damage to snowballed targets is pretty gnarly as well. I do like the idea of, like, an obvious tank. Oh, you want me to you want me to inspect I don't want to inspect that I'm a dumb boy. Big berry? Oh. That's so nice. I just I love that you can change the names. Like it's it's effective it's harmless, you know? That's so nice. Snow cake. Pick a new item, apply twelve snow, and then consume I mean that's pretty obscene. Uh three damage probably every turn. Count down by two. Hmm. I'll do this. Uh, it can su I mean, it's one time per fight, I'd assume. I should have looked. When hit, apply snow to snow to the attacker. Ah, we've got two separate lanes. Two rows now. That makes sense. What happens if you attack a... Uh, Okay, uh, an empty lane. Does it go straight to the front lane of the other? Is it kind of like uh, like Astronarch? Whenever you... Okay, we can inspect cards in battle. Right-click. Yeah, yeah. Good deal. Place extra big berry on the battlefield, too. Oh, thank you for letting me... Yeah. All right. It changes it in there. That's, that's kind of nice. Uh, You are going to attack me before I attack you. But if, you, if I don't attack you, you will only deal one damage to me. So I think we go for Uba Bear. Drag extra big berry in front of your leader to protect them for the attack. Moving your cards does not take a turn, so you can still play a card. Who are you? Are you attacking nothing? Theoretically, I don't want to just enrage you right now. Yeah, you, you'll attack, I'm assuming, the front line of the other row. Gotcha. Okay. We do five damage, so we're actually going to heal off of this. So that's really nice. You can recall companions to heal them. Drag extra big berry into your discard pocket. Into your discard pocket. Recalling cards is also a free action. Huh. I mean, can I have him back? Got Foxy here. So we attack in the entire row, for what it's worth. But we it's kind of slow. Penguin. Step one, let's just kill this. All right. So you are about to attack for one. Damage. Okay. I got an idea, though. Stunned for 12 turns. Seems good. 
This also does damage. I didn't even I, I didn't even remember or notice. Big Peng! Gain a damage when an ally is killed. Oh no. Sort of feels like we should do this then. Let's get him down to have him start ticking down here. So maybe we don't want to kill the penguins. I don't... I could snow somebody. We're going to just take three damage. I don't know if I really care. Right? Alternatively, I could... Kill one and then just snowball Big Peng into oblivion. That is the other option. Because he doesn't seem immune to it or anything, so we could just snow stick him whenever it seems like he's going to actually get an attack off and we shouldn't have an issue. Snow stick. Yeah, seems like a pretty clean way to go. So then. And then it ends, but we get extra money. That's a really nice way of doing that. We get extra money if we do kill the others in the middle of the uh, the fight. It's not required, but we get extra rewards. Woodhead is a clunker card. Clunkers are items that you can place in battles to aid your companions. Does nothing, but will take a hit for you. Increase attack by one. Apply five shell, shell, shell. Hmm. I go with this. Bling snail cave. I have not. I would. I do want a unit. It sounds fun, but. Oh what. Oh, we get the treasure from Bling Snail Cave. Demonize doubles doubles damage taken. When an enemy attacks, apply one demonize to them. Oh. Add Numlin to a Numlin to a card in your hand. Free to use. Oh. Interesting. But it doesn't have it itself. When an ally is healed, apply an equal amount of spice. Spice is a temporary attack increase that clears after triggering. Uh, this could be good on big ol' extra big berry. Sure. I'm assuming that that has to be played in battle and can't be just like... <laughs> you can rename these too? That's fun. You can rename literally everything. Makoko! Makoko and Grog. You are going to attack now, but you're not going to do anything. Oh, look at there's the Chucklefish logo. When hit, count down by one. So you ramp up, and you have a timer on you. You're going to do a silly amount of damage. Theoretically, we want to rush you down. I don't know if... Is the block permanent? Seems it. I'll tell you what. A snow on this guy will actually go really far for us. I feel like I need a unit down, right? Maybe, maybe not. This plus that is a... That's a kill. So we have a kill here this turn. They will attack first. We do have the armor for it, though. I think that maybe we kind of allow this. Maybe even allowing the, yeah, the armor to take that hit. And then we'll, oh my god. And then relocating there. Gobbling, escape from the battle, drop four coins when hit. I mean, I would like you dead. This guy's very frightening. 
When destroyed, apply five to all allies. Five spice. We are going to kill it with the, uh, the barrage. Hmm. Interesting. We do need you dead. So that goes down to two. Should go down to one. And then hopefully snow cake helps us. Because that's not technically a hit. Take a little bit there. Oh boy. It's a little brutal. Kind of want to get you down to uh, the spot where I can kill you with the AOE. It's fine. Do I? Is it fine if I just let this die? I feel like it's okay. You're going to do two damage. I think maybe we let this two damage go here. On the armor. Okay. Alright, now we swap it around. This guy's a, he's, he's a piece of work right now. He's starting to ramp up something fierce. I think a snow stick is a good way to go here. We're just letting the goblin go. It's fine. Is four coins a big deal? Maybe. I don't know. So three. We have the kill there. Okay, one damage is what we need to do. King Moko! When hit, apply three spicy to everyone in the battle. 80 health? Excuse me? Immune to... S Excuse me? Is this like a... Uh, is this like a forced death or something? 80? 10 damage? 10 damage five times? This is a forced death for like a tutorial or something, isn't it? Gotta be. Okay. Like, how could I possibly? I mean, that's a long amount of time. I guess that's the thing is it's... It's going to be eight turns. I guess that's the catch. So with that... It... <sighs> okay, also it's three spicy to everyone in the battle. Everyone in the battle. So I'm going to do this knowing full well I'm going to take a little bit of a smack here. Okay, so you are going to be doing seven damage. Oh, this is just... This is just going to be absurd. All right. You are at least going to be doing, theoretically, seven damage three times. Um, you are dying. You are really dying. Oh, you are really dying. Oh, we are dead. I think we need to slow you. Wait. Oh, that doesn't count as a... Gotcha. I mean, that was absurd. Like, uh, that was absurd. Pet house unlocked? Visit the pest house. Pet, pest house. Pet house to select a pet to start a journey with. Construction. Okay. Construct new buildings in the town by completing challenges. Check back here after each run to see what you've unlocked. Okay. What kind of, what kind of stuff we talking here? What kind of stuff we talking here? Welcome to the pet hut. Snoof. Recall three companions to get the next one. Okay, this is just like new things that we can get. Hit the redraw bell ten times. So using the redraw bell on the final turn is forced. It does take a turn. Okay, I also really like that we start with a completely different... Uh, you can start with a completely different character each time. That's really nice. Uh, four damage twice, gain three armor on kill, has less shield. Does five damage, though? It's a little bit spooky. I'm liking the... 
I'm kind of liking the four damage twice here. Let's or the long. Let's go with the long shot. Let's do it. Let's do it. All right, here we go. Could that have been uh, defeated? Probably. It probably could have been. Does absolutely nothing. So you are literally just there to actually make this character a bit weaker. I don't know if that's the intent, but that is the case right now. Snoof. Do we have two attacks? Theoretically, this would be better. Sure. Kill the naked gnome. Count down by two. Do the three damage in the slow. Try and get that guarantee. How much damage do you do? You do one damage, though. That is pretty bad. Cut. There we go. Wombo. Massive damage combo. When charged, it's free. Ah, okay. So it takes when charged, it's free. It's not we have four free charges. It is when it takes four turns to charge. Yeah, gotcha, gotcha. Get the snow on there. Nice and easy peasy. Big ping. Ah, that's right. They're gonna attack first. Interesting. Let's just uh, pop that back, that back fool a little bit here. Got a lot of damage coming out here. It's one, one, one. We kind of need to kill a single one of them. And I'm doing it. I'm going to kill this one because now we're going to be at least applying the snow here while Snoof still gets to live. Uh, you have one damage three times coming out, which actually matters. So I guess I have to kill you too. All right. Woodhead does not save us. We could obviously put ourselves in the front there, but I don't know if I want to do that. You know what? It's fine. We have the snowball we can get you right here. It's not too bad. One damage is okay. One damage is okay. So what is Bling Snail Cave? Did I, did I, is it something I skipped? Charm? I'm curious, I don't know what that is either. Restore two health to everybody in the row. Whenever an enemy is killed, gain three blings. That's blings, eh? I mean... Hmm! I do like the pink berry juice, though. Because the fact that it uh, it increases their maximum HP by 4 as well is nice. Take a charm. Charm got. Reduce damage by 2. Uh... On me? Or what are you talking about? Is it safe for later for a second? Why would I want this?
Yeah, it's just bad then. I was just checking to see for a second. Yeah, I can't drag it into the reserve either. It's really just that? Like, it really is just that? I, I put it on because I was like, there's no way that it's just like makes card bad. But I guess it is just makes card bad. Choose a new companion. Bonnie. Restore two health to all allies. Apply demonize. Take uh, double damage for the next hit. Apply six to ally ahead. I kind of like that one. All right. Well, I hope I can get rid of my card that's literally just I'm a card that's bad now. Trigger when an ally attacks in the front row. I mean, we need to attack first in one way or another. Might as well get that in now to start ticking down. And now we will attack first here. You're going to be able to do something. It's barrage, two damage, and an AoE. So we put Woodhead there, then we don't have to worry as much. Hmm. I don't need that right now, but it's just, I don't need anything else this exact second. Okay. Two snow. Like it. We should get buffed up here. We do eight damage to the... Eight damage to the back line! I don't know that I like long shot. I don't know that I like long shot. Okay. Here's what we do. We at least can kill that punk now. That's something. You're going to be doing three damage. Snoof has three health. I don't like that. Got a barrage coming. A barrage of... It is, it is actually four damage now. We could snipe that back line. Oh my god. There's the scrappy sword. We could snipe the back line here, reduce the damage of the AoE by two. Or we could sacrifice Snoof. I'll take the two damage. I don't like it, but like, what are you gonna do? We do two damage right now. Seems bad. I don't think, yeah, I don't think this character is that great. Um, it's not free to reroll. You're going to be doing one damage. You're going to be running away. That's just okay right now. Sure. All right, so we have the barrage in a little bit. You're going to buff up the front line by six. This is so... <laughs> Let's go for the heal here. Maybe we should have done the refresh now while it was free. When hit, apply one frost... To all enemies. Hmm. I feel like I need that front line dead. It's a way to do it. Not my favorite way to do it, but it's a way to do it. Doing two damage in an AoE. Don't forget, you can hit the... I know I can. I, why would I do that right now, though? Okay. We'll put you here. We will, at the very least, do... We'll do the eight damage, which is pretty good. Six spicy. I think we just sunrod this, then, right? To, like, increase... 
make it so the next time when we actually get our attack off, it'll be really nice here. Okay, so you're going to do one damage apply. We That's okay. That just doesn't matter. And you're going to take three damage between these before this guy dies. We're, we're good. We're good. I don't need to recall them. Why would I recall them? Here. When, okay, that might count as a hit, though. That, that would actually ruin everything. Lol. You do go first. Do, do I care about that? Our health... We heal, don't we? We heal, right? Am I mistaken? Alright. Bling snail cape. I mean, I'm assuming this is like a shop. No, that's a, that's gotta be the shop. That charm, that last charm was uh, not very good. Okay, so bling snail cape is just get money. I didn't see that last time. You just get money. Lilberry, whenever healed, gain two. Uh, Snawful. Oh my god. When destroyed, add frenzy to a random ally. Oh, interesting. That mixed with our buff, this is really good. One snow to all enemies is really good too, but... Oh my god. It's Putty Spencer here. There we go. Enter the shop. What she got? Pepper Reaper. Temper increase attack. What is this? I right clicked it. I right clicked it. I thought that would help me inspect. Uh. Cards with crowns are always played at the start of battle. I mean... Feels like this is a good thing to have right away, and then it dies, and then we can get it on you. And then we buff you the heck up with Pyra. That just seems like a really good combo. Apply 9 arm, but reduce HP by 2. Our health does get filled right back up, doesn't it? Yes. Uh... Wait, this is two damage. This is attack for two and then give spice. Oh. Interesting. One of these. Wow me. Gain Numlin, which is free to use. Okay, good deal. Thank God. Can we have two on the same card? Seems like no. I do like... Flame water sounds good. Sunrod sounds good. I feel like Sunrod. Sunrod being used for free seems great. We are out of funds. We are out of funds. Boss. Okay, here we go. Bamboozle. Hits all targets in the row. 18 health, 4 attack. All right. Okay, so we want to save that for after. We want we want this to die. And we want this to be the only one there. So you, I guess, are the problem. When hit, reduce attack by one. So that should be a, a reduction and a slow, which is really, really nice. Good. Food dispenser is going to die there, which is ideal. So we get the multi strike. So now we do extra damage. It's not very good yet. But we're going to be able to buff you up like mad. So you're going to do four damage to every living soul. 
that's your thing. Okay. Which means Snoof is just going to die the second we put him down. But also, this is... I mean, why waste it? Why waste a turn, though? It's worth the action. Okay, so four for everyone. Not that big of a deal. He cannot be slowed. Sure. Okay, so there's eight damage. Twi oh, you son of a gun. You son of a gun. Well, this would be bang and then bang. So if we do a scrappy sword. This should... Does it have... Is it eight? It's eight twice, right? Yes, it is. Okay, that is ideal. Snowbow. Does one damage. I don't care that much. I care way more about this. Aimless. Hits a... Oh, hits a random target in the row. We'll do that. We'll make sure we snow stick this fool. Alright, and then we will hit this first. Hopefully... I don't think any enemies will show up here. This guy doesn't do anything here really for us. Here we go. We got our freebie now. Hell, we'll, we'll overkill it. Get bopped. That is, uh, yeah, that's way more manageable than the other. That's why. That's why. Gotcha. I was going to say, that is, that is a lot easier to deal with. And it was. It was a lot easier to deal with, and now it's not so much. Okay. So we have two damage coming in. Oof. Tank the hit, I guess. Okay. Uh, we're not even we're not even doing that much here this time. Do three damage twice. And you're gonna be doing four damage here. Oh, this sucks! This sucks! The winter worm is gonna destroy the dog! But what else is the dog gonna do for us? So we could do this, so we could get so what? We could get three damage on Bam. Seems suboptimal. We could do the one damage snow stick. That'd be kill three damage. We could do the scrappy sword. Same thing. If we had the buff this turn, I can't. I can't refresh and hope because that would use my turn because it's not charged up. Hmm. Bam and Boozle. Do we sacrifice you so that we don't die? I guess so. I don't love it. I really don't love it. Okay, so here comes the buff. You're doing two damage. I can't slow you. You're doing one damage and slowing. I wish I could... Ah, I wish I could do it so that I could block this attack, but I can't block that attack instead. I can't. They attack first, so... Like, I could get the kill. 
Next turn. I could get the kill this. No, I can't get the kill this turn. Ah, because it, it, they go first, so it'd be the slow that would kick in first. We could do this. Block. Either way, we'd be taking the snow there. I guess what we could do is we do this. We could let this buff and then and then let them die. Somehow, how do we do that? I don't think we have the ability to really do that. Ally ahead. There would be no ally ahead if I do that. I can't kill. I, I think we're just in a... Yeah, I think we're just in a really rough spot with that. I don't think there's like a good... I don't think there's a good situation here. I wish we could block at that second hit. That'd be really, really nice. This is free. Oh, you can't... You can't count down with us. It, it, it's okay. It's not going to change that much, really, but... You can't count down while they're slow. Okay. Do the two damage here. So you'll gain frenzy. Do we just heal it? Oh, you jerk. Oh, you jerk. Um, they go, they go first, they go first. So it'd be six and then two. Oh my God. Six and then two. And I take the freaking freeze. We are you kidding me, man? Are you kidding me? Six, and I take the freeze. If I do it this way, you would take six, but not the freeze. But you would also be killing the back line here, and we would lose our berry for later, not even getting one of them killed. It seems like... I mean, it just seems like the situation sucks no matter what here. Like, this, we at least eat five damage. Like, we bait five damage out that we don't have to deal with. And then the one goes on to us here. Ow. It's just... it's That's just pain. Oh, and then we have to deal with this? You kidding me? I hate you. Because we get snowed again? We get snowed again? And I can't get myself here. We can't stop that. Uh, you're doing two damage and another, another slow? It, it just, there's so many slows that I can't do anything about. Yeah. We literally just can't do anything. We actually literally can't do anything because every time we could possibly attack, we are uh, we are getting frozen ourselves. So that would be lethal if I got hit by that. So I might as well just let them keep on juggling me into oblivion because I can't even I can't even use my sunrod to count it down because every time I get a freaking countdown, I get that freaking plus one, plus two, plus one, plus two. I can't get down to zero because I can't. You can be snowballed since when? This one can't be snowballed. This one can be snowballed since when? Since when? Since always. I know, but still. But still. Yeah, we're dead. Because you can't sunrod ourselves when we're like this. And the scrappy sword got nerfed. Not that that would actually save it, us here. Like, the fact that this having two damage, would it have been cool? Like, would it have been helpful? Yes. Would it have changed any outcome of any individual thing ever? No, I don't think so. Uh, 
Man, I wish I could do this when I was snowballed. That would have that would have changed a lot here. Would I have won? I don't think so, because there's just another backup. All right, kill me. Kill me! Dang, man! Brutal. Brutal, but I I like it. I'm curious to see what the, uh, the town progress stuff is like. Reset the companions. Welcome to the pet hut. We oh my god, one more redraw bell and we would have been able to get something else going on there. Uh, this is so cool though. Like, this is so, so solid. Uh, there's, oh, there's like a di little different background based off like kind of what they're doing here. Restore three health on a kill. Apply two shroom. Uh, instead of attacking, two poison. Three to all allies behind. Pippet. Very cool. I love, this is genius. This right here is genius. The leader system. Having it be so varied right at the get-go, and it's not, like, not just characters. Like, every character is a randomized character, and they have, like, what seems like a procedurally generated visual system to them, I think. Uh, to kind of go with it is a very cool idea. And, like, they have that, you know, that little background theming. They all seem like they have probably, like, a power bank of points that they draft out. Like, I could be wrong. They could be, intent like, intended characters or something. Uh... But I would not be surprised in any way if it's just like they have a pool of potential powers, uh, strength, counters, etc., health. And it is kind of p picked from like a point draft system for how strong they get to uh, get to be. I don't even I don't know what this is about. I don't know if it's like I, I have th this. I have no clue. But either way, for a demo, this is so cool and so like full for a, for like a for demo i i might have to check this out again honestly like uh that boss was that boss was way more manageable than the other with the build that we had in the last one i don't know that i think that that ranged character the ranged modifier on our main hero was a good call like we with the amount like i severely underestimated the amount of tiny reinforcements that boss fights uh summoned in <laughs> which more or less made that character uh bad <laughs> or at the very least that idea bad um alas very cool very cool uh the game's name is wild frost oh you can even zoop right up there uh it is going to be out on steam in winter 2022 but you can check out the demo right now uh a note that it is not the typical demo that you see the big green button for i always make sure i bring this up this is, I don't know what you do on Steam for demos that makes this demo different, but this is the kind of demo that you have to scroll down on the right side. There's like a little tiny blue button that'll say download demo, uh, right down where it says like, are the, is this game relevant to you? That is where you can find the demo for this game. Uh, I say that because I, I can never find the demo in that spot. I can find the big green button very easy. The blue is a little bit uh, more out of the way. So just so you know. Check there. But alas, alas, make sure you wishlist the game if you're interested in it. And check out the channel. I cover roguelikes and more every single day. If you like games like this, this is a channel that you definitely need to be subscribed to. Thank you, thank you, and I will see you next time. Bye.